All right, um, got this Torchstar LED under cabinet lighting kit. Um, gonna put it in this weekend. Um, gonna pop it open and see what's inside. Um, I've been looking at these uh, these kits, you know, at Home Depot and you know online, and uh, really never ran into anything I kind of like, you know, like I really didn't want anything that was like that puck style. And I didn't want a bunch of wires everywhere, and uh, I just really never saw anything I liked. But I ran into this kit, and um, uh, it was pretty uh, pretty affordable, and uh, I liked the way it looked, so I went ahead and bought it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try it out today. And uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, checking out the video, and uh, please hit that subscribe button for me. look because they uh, look like they'll fit in the corner of the cabinet and they weren't very big uh, the color is uh, 3000k which is the color I want and it came with six of these things 3m double-sided tape there's the power um, the little harnesses I'll link them all together and this is this is why I went with this particular kit because it came with this it's actually a Wi-Fi switch, and it's push button. So, um, if you have Alexa or something kind of like that, you can control it through Alexa. Um, you can control it through your phone, or you can just push the button. So I like that. And then I ordered some extra cable. That hopefully will work. All right. So if we look at my kitchen. What I'm gonna do is the cabinets. I got six, six bulbs, or six LED strips, and I think I'm gonna put one in the middle of each. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I'll have an extra strip. I don't know if I'm gonna do two over there, or if I'm just gonna do one, I don't know yet. And yeah, so they fit right in the corner. There's a lot of tape. Nice and clean and low profile. I don't want a bunch of wires and stuff. I think for the button, I want to put it somewhere over here, somewhere over here by the stove and by the switches and stuff. I think. All right, I'm gonna keep it by where the power source is. And as far as the power source goes, okay. So it's a simple AC plug, right? And uh. uh Seen a lot of people just end up using one of their their um, their outlets and then running the wire up. I really don't want to do that. And if you don't know, if you're looking at one of these kits and you don't know, but if you have a microwave, okay, that's mounted up there. Here you go. You got a cabinet above it. It's uh, the venting microwave. This is where you hide all the booze at in my house. But there's a plug up here. Okay, so I'm gonna use that plug. I'm gonna drop the wire down, 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 down this way. And I might have to drill, drill a little hole down here and uh, fish the wire down in between the microwave to the switch. And then I'll run all the LEDs to where they need to go, hopefully. Try to keep the wire nice and tucked up. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it goes that smooth. But yeah, if you didn't know, you have an, an outlet up there. Most most people do. And that plug right there, and that's the microwave. So before I get started, a little red light there. So what we're going to do is, power's going to plug in there, and I'm going to run the cable. What I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through one of these cabinet holes, okay, but 
the head of the power plug is too big. Yeah, it won't fit. Okay. I could either make that bigger, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut the head off of this and then reattach it. I'm going to solder it back together. The reason why I'm going to do that instead of just drilling this hole is because to get it down, whoa, to get it down, uh, down the microwave, down to where I want it, the head would still be too big to fit to come down anyway. So I'll just cut it and solder it back together. And then I'll run to the switch and this guy will go up and then I'm going to have to run power out of it to the rest of the lights. So I'm going to add this extension and it's going to run back up and go back up through the hole and go around because I got to go around this microwave and back down and run to all my other lights and that's it. It should be pretty simple. So I'm going to have to cut this extension too. I could just push push it through and try to tuck it behind the microwave if I wanted to. That would probably work too, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut and solder. All right. For some reason I thought the holes would go all the way through the cabinets and they don't, so I'm going to have to drill all the way through the cabinet to make the hole. Make it a little bigger. This step bit too. So the uh, the cable, you know, it's got it's got markings on it, so you can tell when I cut it, you know, how, how to put it back. It's got this dash dash line there, so I'm just gonna go hack it, brand new, just hack it. And when I get the end, I'm gonna try to run it down through this hole. Hopefully, I can get it down down.
I still have the end. It's going to go here. My cables run all the way through. It's just, just perfect. Just perfect. Try not to drop all your crap on the ground. Here it is. This is the wire that's going to go to all the rest of the lights. And what's going to make this tricky is hopefully it's long enough. If it's not, I might have to run some more wire. I'll just get some speaker wire or something. Or I might have to turn it. Like that. Which I don't want to do. I'm keep it like this. But turn it like this. Hopefully it won't reach. I might have to use like a, a little uh, extension cord or something, but a power strip or something. It'll be alright. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to go ahead and mount these exactly where I want them, and then I'll start working on on the wiring. And I have it ran, yeah, kind of one way. Okay, and then I get it mounted, and then I'll go and run some more wire that way and I'm probably going to have to extend I'm going to have to extend this wire that runs to all that and I just got some some speaker wire I had laying around it's pretty thin um, so and yeah it would probably be wise to measure before you order stuff like this but really I mean all you need is these ends but whatever so then I'm going to put this guy here um, I've changed my mind. I think I want to keep the switch away from the stove because all the steam and the grease and all that other stuff. So I'm end up putting it somewhere like over here. I'm going to prep the cabinet with some alcohol. I'm going to rub all this down and get any grease or anything that's off of there off of it. One thing I do like about it, it has these little holes so you can shoot some screws or some little tacks or something in there if the tape fails, which it's 3M tape, but it might fail. And then so on this, I'm just going to put a piece of tape on here and just stick it up.
Uh, I actually need to make this longer. It's not gonna, it's not gonna reach. So I'll use a little bit of my speaker wire here. Make it longer. Heat up. Be back in a minute. This way, like this. All right, and then back here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a, I'm going to drill a hole through here, and run the wire through it, and then I'm going to solder it over here. That way, you don't see this do this. All right. I kind of want it a little bit cleaner than that, so.
all the wire will be it'll be hidden. I'll be able to run it right up the microwave. Alright, and I'm just gonna solder this to this. some super glue or some hot glue and I'll end up just pulling the wire up that way so. Super glue it and it comes out pretty clean. You keep it like that. With a lot of those kits, you end up seeing wires everywhere. You don't see any wires, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit more effort, you won't see wires. Just a little bit. It's really not that hard to do. I'll go ahead and see if it works. This is gonna go the rest of my lights. I'm just gonna end up running it back down that way. I'm gonna have to extend it. So all you gotta do. This. If you've made all your connections right, plug it in. Ooh. And it flicked on and off for like a second. That's not a cooking. all done um, it you can dim the LEDs um, right now they are at the lowest setting and what you're gonna need to do is to uh, use the dimming feature you're gonna need to download the app or you're gonna need to hook it up to Alexa so I already downloaded the app <coughs> and right now this is the lowest setting all right and I'll show you what it looks like when I turn it up all right, and that's what it looks like with it turned all the way up it gets pretty darn bright. I'm pretty happy with the color. Uh, the 3000K is definitely the color I wanted. Um, yeah, it was uh, really uh, not too bad to install, and there's not a bunch of wires hanging out anywhere. I uh, don't have to use the plugs, and you don't see a bunch of stuff. Even if you do get a little bit low, you don't see the wires. 
right. and it wasn't too bad hiding them. That. This is a little bitty hole, so all you gotta do a bit of, a little bit of uh, hot glue holding the wire up there. Just keep all the wires back here, you really don't see too much. Does a good job of hiding the wires, you really can't see it. Nothing's hanging down funny. But yeah, um, come up pretty good. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them down in the comment box and uh, I'll get to those. And uh, if you want to pick a kit up, um, I'll leave a Link down in the description box where you can pick one up. Um, if you need a soldering iron or any of the tools that I use, I'll leave a couple links for those. And yeah, um, so easy, so clean. You guys uh, be safe, take care. Have a great weekend.